beautiful soul. So that and I show to you. friends visiting us from New South Wales and they're going to be staying here for a day or two so we're getting the place ready but I'm heading up to the cottage to work. Nevertheless, I was thinking long and hard this morning as I got ready for work and that is because every day I walk the fine line of balance. As an off-gridder, you know, we rock solar panels and rainwater tanks and compost toilets and firewood and stoves and all those kinds of amazing things, right? And that has a really interesting effect on me. I feel extraordinarily connected to my landscape. Oh, that was thunder. To nature and to just all the beautiful things that an off-grid life can bring. But there are times where the Taurus in me is stretched a little thin, where I have a little bit too much to deal with and I think to myself, oh, all I need is a little bit of luxury. And I find that every day I walk this really interesting fine line in doing that. So yes, I use a compost toilet, but to compensate, I also use French perfume on my body or some days I just use a nature-based perfume on my body, like a come to me spray that came from the witch's moon and I use like a combination of like lush products and homemade products and then I use like higher end products and I'm always kind of toggling between the two depending on the activities that I've done today so if I've done a really grueling off-grid kind of day where I've had to empty the compost toilet I've had to stock um, or stack I should say the firewood and I've had to whip a snip this entire property then what I do is I kind of gift myself a little a little something of luxury so I'm going to run through some of the some of the products that I use on an almost daily basis and you know just show you exactly what I'm talking about you know everything from my own personal homemade toothpaste and my bamboo toothbrush to my touch out you know, water cream thing and to my lush face bits and pieces. And I just want to show you exactly what I mean because every day is so fun here. Every day I'm like, I might have a really mellow day where I just get to go up in my cottage and do the work and be surrounded by all my sacred stuff. And then there are days where I feel like I'm a bit more of a man and I'm out and I'm like, chopping wood and doing this. Not that that's a man's job, I don't want to generalize, but I feel like I use my body in a super physical way. And I'm a pretty gentle sort of like whimsical, like Venetian type of person. Very feminine, very like, mm, I like my pretty things. I like my, my comforts, my mod cons. And it almost seems ludicrous that someone like me would live off grid, but at the same time, I freaking love it. I love it. I don't love this hobbled walk up to the cottage, mind you but I love it here. I absolutely love it here. But in order for me to be truly at peace here, I know myself. This is something that is born out of the fact that I know myself. I know that I need those little luxuries. I know that I need to, you know, to just pamper myself. Nobody else is going to do it for me. My husband's not that way inclined. So I have to make sure that on those days where I've had a hard day on the land and I've had lots of shit to deal with, sometimes literally, then I need to be able to gift myself with that experience. So I was having a bit of a think about this and I just decided to pull out a few little items that kind of make my day on days where I'm having a hard time uh, and just make my day every day kind of thing. So I've got a balance. I, I keep talking about balance and I've got a balance of products here. So I've gone more towards skincare, not makeup, but skincare. Uh, because that is one way that I really love to pamper myself. Sure, I'm a girly girl at heart. I do my nails, I get my eyebrows waxed. I do those kinds of things, but the, the nitty gritty of it all happens when I'm having a shower 
or when I'm preparing my skin after a shower. It's the time where I choose to really pamper myself. And I have found, and you're gonna find this to be a little bit funny, but I have found that uh, when I do certain jobs, <sighs> when I do certain jobs off grid here, all I wanna do is have a shower and quickly wash away, not just the grit, the grime, but also the memory of. And so, <laughs> In those times, I make sure to gift myself the experience. And the experience goes a little something like this. Let's start from the very beginning. First of all, I make my own toothpaste. Yes, I do. I'm a bit of an advocate for making your own toothpaste. I find that I have incredibly sensitive teeth. And since I've discovered that I have incredibly sensitive teeth, I have been extraordinarily dissatisfied with toothpaste on the market. Aside from the fact that I find that it is chock-a-block full of unnecessary ingredients, I get a much better clean and a much better experience making my own toothpaste. So I make my own toothpaste and I make it out of arrowroot powder <sighs> and it makes me happy. <laughs> and to apply said toothpaste or tooth cream, <laughs> as it would be, I use a bamboo toothbrush, which is all the rage, yes I know, but I use a brush with bamboo toothbrush. Not just any, not just any. I use brush with bamboo because it is all recyclable. You don't have to pull out the bristles of the toothbrush at the end of use and dispose of them thoughtfully because the whole thing is recyclable. And that, thumbs up. And I have no alternative for that, I just, I. That's how I start my day. Every day, um, I add to my toothpaste really, really beautiful oils, and there is the balance. It's the natural nature of the toothpaste combined with the high-end uh, aromatherapy oils that I put in that creates that really nice balance. Oh, gosh, gotta get cozy. Got to get cozy. So, the next thing that I wanted to share with you that makes up part of that self-care pamper thing that I like to talk about is my natural deodorant. Now, I began making my own deodorants. I had a couple of cracks at it and I had successful uh, recipes that I'd been using for a few months. And then one day, lo and behold, boom. I developed a reaction to baking soda. And so I had to wait Oh, six weeks for my beautiful poor armpits to heal because they were burnt. They were like in really bad shape. So I, I used nothing on them whatsoever except for this amazing homemade natural calendula ointment. And that was a couple of months worth of that. And now I use this really nice natural organic shea butter one, which I did not make myself because I can't get a hold of shea at the moment, but I I, yes, I managed to find one that actually works so far. I'm, a, I'm only a couple of weeks uh, into it, but it is a good one. And, and it's made here in Tasmania, which I like. I like supporting uh, local makers and creators as much as possible. And, you know, I lean more towards natural products anyway. Not always, but as much as I can. Next, I would say that moisturizers are a huge thing for me, especially now that I'm living in a temperate climate. My skin spazzed out the moment that I moved it down here. It was windy, it was cold, and it just didn't know what to do with itself after living in a hot, humid, tropical environment for as long as I had been. And so I had to really experiment and the first thing I did was go straight into Lush and I'm like, give me something that will just like, oh, just sink into my skin and really hydrate it. And that's when I got the skin drink. And then <laughs> after using the skin drink for so long, I went in and I needed something a little lighter as the weather um, warmed up. I, I found that the skin drink was just a little bit too heavy or just something that I would use at night. So I went a little bit more high-end then um, and got the Tatcha water cream, which I found to be incredibly, incredibly useful for me and my skin type as well. I was a bit dubious about it because I really don't like going into hype products, but on those days where I just need to just remind myself that I'm still a beautiful woman and that I deserve the finer things in life, I get out of the shower and I... <sighs> 
I moisturize <laughs> with my water cream. <laughs> it's quite the ritual. Serums are also a big one for me, especially now that I live in a temperate climate. And perhaps I should have mentioned this one before the moisturizers because a serum typically goes on before a moisturizer. But I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't care about that shit. So I use two things. And one is relatively new, but I found it to be quite calming and soothing to my skin. And it's a drunk elephant uh, serum. And I like to use that uh, before I apply my moisturizer. On those, especially on those days where I'm just like, oh, why, why, why today? And then on an everyday basis, and sometimes even the special occasions, because these interchange, um, I use Face Full of Grace, which is a naked product from Lush, and it's like a bar, and it's so lovely, and it's a very thick serum, and it's really, really good to use in winter time. So I use the skin drink and the, um, the face full of grace in winter time for a really hydrating experience, especially when it's a super duper windy day. I don't consider that the high-end products to be better than, you know, the lesser brand name. I just think that there are times where I really feel like giving myself a luxurious experience and sometimes I'll reach straight into the Lush store for that luxurious experience. Sometimes I'll make that luxurious experience myself and other times I'll go high end. I kind of like to go functionality and, and application and so if the lower end is actually more functional if it's more natural, if it gives me with more of an experience as a whole, then I will tend to hold that one in much higher regard. So let's talk about perfume because I am a fanatic about perfume. In fact, in my early 20s, I would have owned close to 30 bottles of perfume. I just, scent is such a huge thing for me. These days I've trimmed it right down and I, I feel very proud of myself for that, but I've trimmed it right down. And you know, most days I use the Come To Me oil, the spray that came with one of the Witch's Moons and I love it. I think it's got a fabulous scent. Or my very favorite French perfume, which is La Vie Belle by Lancome because I fell in love with the story of how they make that perfume and aside from the fact that it has the most oh, intoxicating aroma it is a perfume that is made from real essential oils so when you spray this perfume on your wrist for instance it leaves an almost oily residue it's not an alcoholic kind of residue that kind of dries the skin. It's it's everything a perfume should be. And it's taken me years to find this perfume and I love it so much. So when I step out of the shower, I'll spray myself with this beautiful perfume. On a day where I don't plan on leaving the house ever, I spray this perfume on me because I think it's the, it's, it's a gesture of self-love and self-nourishment, self-appreciation. Oh my God, every time I think about this perfume, it just takes me to a different place. So lips are another thing. I'm always one to put a bit of lip balm on before I go to bed, to put a lip balm on when I wake in, up in the morning, to wear a little bit of lipstick, but I predominantly wear lip balms. And I've got to tell you that I was heavily reliant on Ultra Balm from Lush for a while there. Ultra Balm is something that was you know, just such a handy product to have around. I'd, I'd wear it on my lips. I'd put it around the corners of my nose on those really, really cold days. It was just a very versatile type of product that I loved to use. And then I decided, and then I decided that it was time to gift myself with a little something more intense. And so that was the day that I went into Hobart, went into the Mecca there and came out with an hourglass lip mask. Yes, it's got a fancy 24 gold carat nib or tip on it or applique, I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but I'm not left wowed. Like I wasn't gifted the experience that I was meant to and I paid a lot of money for that and that's, whoa, that's that pisses me off. That actually pisses me off. But I've only been using it for two or three days, so I'm going to give it a little bit more time. But so far into this experience, I'm not having any kind of experience. So let's briefly talk facial cleansers. Let's say I've been wearing makeup on the day and let's say I've had a hard day. Let's say I twisted my ankle and I've had to walk for miles and let's say the children have been a pain in the butt. 
Let's just say all those things. Then I will use my La Mer Pre Cleanser on my face because it looks like unicorn goo. It's so iridescent and beautiful. Even my girls look at it and go, <gasps> but on the everyday, and I even think that the everyday option does a better job, I will use coconut oil and my reusable makeup removing cloths, which I got off Etsy and are soft. And they're that good, they're that, oh, they're that nice on the skin that I recommended it to so many people and they've gone out and acquired it and have not been disappointed. I'll leave the link uh, to that one in the description box below just in case you were interested because it's really soft. It's such a different feeling to having a cotton ball scratching your face. Like this is really soft cloth and just, oh, it's just, it's nice. It's just nice. My mother-in-law was here recently and she absolutely loved it. And she's like, oh, you must give me the link. And I'm like, I will, I will, mumsy, I will. And lastly, on those days where I've had to empty the compost toilet specifically, that's the worst job that I, that I do. Just, that's just the worst job. On those days, I like, to gift myself a face mask. And there are days where I will use the Birth of Venus face mask from Lush, which I think is like a, it's got a little jelly to it. It's like a little jelly. It's really nice, smells divine. It gives you an experience. It's just lovely. And on the day where I feel like everything went pear shaped and all I need is for the gods to reach out from the heavens and just caress my face and give me a warm hug, then I will use the vitamin C face mask from Toucha, which is like a radiance mask. And I've got to say, I'm very, very impressed with that. I've used tons of face masks and I've got to say that is one of the best I have ever used in my whole life. <sighs> so there you have it, beautiful souls. That was it. That was the experience. That's how I kind of turn my off-grid frown upside down from time to time, specifically focusing on self-care. Yes, I do other things as well. I do things with food. I do things with oils. I, do, I just do all sorts of things to really create a really nice haven on those days where I've had a really hard time. And I find that it helps so much and it's a really, really kind way to treat oneself. Uh, so if you wanna see any more videos like this, then please do let me know because this was a really fun one to make. I don't think I've ever in my life made a video like this. So there you have it. Much love, many blessings. And don't forget, if you have liked this video and you are liking my daily vlogs and you would like me to keep up these daily vlogs, then please do give this a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff and click that little bell so that you're notified when I post videos because you never know the day that I might give this up and then you'll be like, oh, well, when is she gonna post a video again? Well, if you click the bell, then you'll know. That's just all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, beautiful souls. I've loved spending this time with you. You guys are amazing. See ya.